Hi, uh, welcome to my uh, Fusion tutorial. And this time I try to my first time to create this uh, tutorial using an English language because some of the uh, comments in my previous video told me that uh, I should try using the English for the next episode. So I try it right now. First of all, we would like to create uh, one of these. Uh, blade, uh, this this kind of blade, uh, fine blade actually, and I want to insert this uh, picture here in the canvas mode in this particular sketch. So I create a sketch in here. Uh, I put it in the X Y sketch, and then I insert a text canvas to insert this particular uh, image here uh, the image I get it from the internet and then this is for the plane which is the picture is uh, lie on and then we using this uh, grid to scale up my uh, image maybe I use uh, 100 is around 100 100 millimeters for the radius so and then make sure that uh, we are putting this center of this uh, cylinder at the right position in the middle which is a, is a center and then uh, we can adjust the opacity of this canvas so we have we can uh, sketch it with a clearer view so and then I click OK and then first of all I want to create this cylinder here yeah maybe is the right position and then I put the diameter 45 yeah 45 is good is cool and then I take the extrusion here maybe I use a uh, 20 22 I think 22 is okay and because of this uh, image here shows that there's a draft angle at the wall of the cylinder so I use this 22 at the height and then I add a taper angle maybe 5 five degrees uh, maybe 6 degrees is okay I think it's fine 6 degrees yeah I think it's almost fit and then uh, I will create this uh, edge here using uh, this is a sketch. Uh, make sure you click the plane, and then I use this plane for create this profile around the fan edges. I can create many control points as I. As I need it, and then I can edit it uh, this shape using a fine tuning letter. Okay, uh, we can zoom right in, and then we can adjust this control point to make sure the shape is at the fit position within this surrounding edges I have to move right a little bit this one is for the direction and as well as the control point we can move as needed okay we can also adjust the curvature here yeah I think it's yeah, 
this one is a little bit put it over there yeah that's it then I add a line in here to make it a close profile okay now this uh, boundary is done and then I started to create the profile from the side I use the sketch once again and then I use just only the arc but right now the position of the arc is uh, not describe the real arc in this particular fan blade just roughly approximately only so the radius and then the as well as the position 145 yeah I think it's a little bit more down and make sure your the arc is uh, at the outer at the uh, outside of the previous boundary actually and then I create this sketch okay so this cat is lying on the center of the cylinder and then I make I construct a offset plane offset plane from this plane and then make sure the plane is at the outer outside of the boundary as well 110 then I create the offset plane once again to put at the center uh, maybe 50 55 is uh, right at the middle so I create again a uh, arc three point arc using these cats and then uh, I put this a little bit offset and then make sure the intersection of both of the curves is approximately at the middle of the center point yeah and then I stop sketch and I create once again oh this is the automatically projected sketch I don't want it so make sure you put at the uh, construction line so we are not confusing with the previous projected uh, arc and then I create the last part of the section using the sketch one two and then three this is also put at the near nearest of the center point then make sure to the projected line arc here change to the construction so we are not confusing yeah I think the section is done and change the environment to the patch because we started with the patch here and I use a love command to create this particular uh, section of the tree of the arc and I hit OK and then I create the extrusion for this boundary using a symmetric yeah maybe make sure all the all the both of this this uh, surfaces intersecting each other and then I hit OK and then I use this modify trim to trim uh, I want to trim the arc surface rule surface uh, loft surface loft surface here within the boundary so I click and then I hit OK so I get I get this uh, surface here is called body 2 and this one is body 3 I can hide it 
body tree yeah this is the surface trim surface to represent the blade and then I can create a thicken to add thickness of this boundary of, of the surface maybe I use a one and then the side is symmetric so it will be at the one millimeter each of the direction so both of this thickness is a uh, two actually two millimeter for the thickness maybe 1.5 or 0.75 I think so the overall thickness is 1.5 millimeter and then I hit OK to the new body so we got uh, this body in the center and then this is the second body and then I can uh, back to the model and this modify under the modify I can find the combine to combine this boot off to solid body make sure your operation is joined and that's it we have one uh, single plate and then add some fillet over here and then here uh, 0 0.75 so we get a full rounded fillet in here okay with a constant radius and hit OK yeah okay and then I put another fillet here one radius for the fillet yeah I think it's good enough okay yeah right now currently we have one blade only so we can use the pattern command to create all this uh, one two three this is the one two three is the feature this is for the combine the thicken feature and then using the fillet first and second okay okay one two okay so we just select the axis the axis over there and then three for the quantity and then hit ok yeah it's done we can also hide the canvas at the fine blade and then I like to add a little bit groove here then I put the thickness over here maybe 2 millimeter for the thickness then I add Uh, cut set of this uh, blade make sure you put the right taper angle according to the previous uh, taper angle for the offside of this uh, cylinder and then I drag it to almost at the bottom okay I think it's enough and then I hit OK so I'm also want to add a cylinder maybe it's 18 18 will be good and then I take the 16 for the height and then using 5 5mm 5, 5 taper angle to make it uh, at the right angle and then I want to add off one of this uh, rib in here so I'm using the skets at this plane yeah. and I put the slice to better visualize yeah it's a better visualize of this uh, my sketch I can use the rectangle to create this blade over here yeah okay 
it would be at the uh, 1.5 millimeter and then make sure this uh, midpoint is coincident with this midpoint and then this line here is collinear with this in here and then I hit OK and then I use this uh, extrude command to extrude this profile but with the join go to the this particular uh, area here so I using the extent of the two to the uh, cylinder inside here and then once again I create this pattern circle pattern for this uh, extrusion and then the axis would be this center of the axis and I use 6 for the instances and I hit OK yeah OK I can add a hole inside here at the center of this particular area click this one for the reference uh, circular or uh, so I put the depth yeah, maybe 13, 12, 12 should be a good size and then 8 for the diameter diameter and then I add some fillet in here before that I want to create a little bit recess area in this particular front area here uh, the diameter would be 35 and then I can create this a little bit recess area to make more nice look and 2 millimeter? no 2 is 2 yeah I think 1 is, is nice ok I think that's it this is the finished blade that I created maybe you can enjoy your day and try some uh, this exercise to your uh, creation